Welcome to lecture 18. In this lecture, we are going to be C8051 counter programming using embedded C. Timer 0, mode 1, we are using to perform the counter programming operation. In the previous lecture, we discussed the timer operation with the mode 0, mode 1, mode 2, mode 3. You can use either timer 0 or timer 1 to perform mode 0, mode 1, mode 2, mode 3. Mode 0 is nothing but 13 bit uh, uh, timer mode, mode 1 is 16 bit timer mode, mode 2 it is 8 bit auto reload and mode 3 is a split timer mode. In this program I am going to be use timer 0 register and mode 1 operation. Mode 1 operation means it is 16 bit timer mode. So the maximum value going to be count with the help of mode 1 it is 65,535. Once it will reach the 65,535 it is going to be overflow. Then TF not a bit is going to be overflow. Again you have to be restart from 0, 0. So this is the internal circuitry of H051 crystal oscillator divided by 12 network. For example, you are performing the timer operation, this control, this red color, the line is connected over here. So the registers get going to be increment with the help of internal system clock. But in this program, we are performing that counter operation. So that's why this red color control I have to be connected over here. The counter is nothing but going to be count the external E1 with the pin number 3.4. It is a P3.4. Here I am using, in this program we are using the timer zero, uh, timer zero registers. So that's why we are going to be use this T naught as a pin. With this pin, you have to be connect clock source or sensor and whatever the external you want, you want to count, we can connect with the physical pin of T naught. Suppose you are using the timer one, you have to be connect that clock source sensor in P3.5. Okay, now in this uh, program we are going to be use the T0 as a timer 0. So the physical pin is P3.4. Here I am going to be connect sensor or the clock source or whatever the external event I want to count, I am going to be connect with this physical pin. So once the same operation as for uh, timer. Uh, uh, 0 operation timer 1 operation TR not you are going to run this uh, bit that is TR not and gate INTN pin 3.1 it is not going to be used because I am going to be configure gate is equal to 0 so TR not equal to 1 so then get out this one once it will close this is going to be increment based on the, the external the pin what you are connecting the based on the, the sensor or clock source input it is going to be increment once it will reach f f f f the tf naught is going to be overflow once it will go overflow you just you can again you load it with tl not equal to 0 0 t gets not equal to 0 0 so t con it is a pin here we are using the tr not the tf sorry tr not and the tf not because of it is time was zero so this is a program assume that one heads external clock i am connecting where in the pin 3.4 i am connecting the external clock not compulsion that only you can use the external clock with the help of some sensors some proximity sensor suppose you are designing a one system for automatic car parking area uh, whenever the proximity sensor is going to be detected, whenever the car is passing, the value is going to be increment with this register. So here I am just using one hertz external clock is fed to the physical pin of 3.4. Here using the timer 0, in A051 we are having the two the timer register, one is timer 0, timer 1. But with the help of timer 0, I perform in the counter operation. That's it. Timer 0 means timer operation means it will uh, count, sorry, it will, the register will going to be increment based on the internal system clock. Suppose it is a counter operation that is C slash T bar equal to 1, it is going to be count the external event. Once it will reach FF, FF, it goes to, this is 0, the overflow 
flag is going to be 1. So now you look at the program here. Uh, write a program for counter 0 in mode 1 16 bit to count the pulses and display the state of TH0 and TL0 register on P2 and P3. So the counter value you want to display on the P1 and P2. Suppose you are, if you want to display on it on the LED sorry LCD display, just you can connect the LCD display with these ports, any one of the ports you can able to display because it is a 16 bit timer so it is going to be the display the values from 0 to 65535 that's why i'm used p1 and p2 here he include reg51 it is a header file void main void the t naught is equal to 1 the initially the t naught is a physical pin that is a t naught is a physical pin this C0 I am the declared as 0 T mod is equal to 0x05 I configure the T mod register because I am using timer 1 sorry mode 1 C slash T equal to 1 it is a counter operation that's why you must enable this bit to perform counter operation now while of 1 I am using the do while the do while is nothing but do this statement going to be execute once it is going to in the do while if it is condition is true or false that is doesn't matter this statement is going to be executed after that only it is going to be check the condition if the condition is true again come for this statement it is going to be executed once the condition is failed it comes out of the loop that is a beauty of this do loop so I write this do and while inside the while of one. While of one is nothing but infinite loop. So T or not equal to one because I want to run this timer. P1, the TL not, whatever the count value in the TL not, that is moved to O to one. TH not, whatever the value I am uh, the incrementer. For example, if it is more than 255 count. Again, it will affect the TH0 register. Why? Because TL0 it is 00 to 255. Once it will cross 256, it will use this TH0 register. So I am going to be display on the P2. After that, Y TF0 is equal to equal to 0. It is nothing but it will check work flow is 1 or not. Work flow is 0. The condition is true. Again, back to do loop. T R not equal to 1. So whatever the value it is counted, that is TL not is loaded with P1, T is not equal to P2. So for each condition, TF not equal to 1 is going to be checked. If it is condition is true, again come back over here. And whatever the value, the count value in the TL not and TH not, it is moved to P1, P2. Once TF not equal to equal to 1, that means this the registers get overflow. If it is 1, it comes out of the loop. TR not I make it to 0, TF not I make it to 0. It is a usual procedure. Again, come over here to the initially a TR not equal to 1, P1, TL not equal to 0, TH not equal to 0. Once gets overflow, this both the register is going to be 0, 0. After that, again the count operation is loaded with P1 and P2 and so on. So now I'm going to be execute as well as demonstrate with the help of the Kale software already loaded the same program as include REG void main T0 is the physical pin initially I make it as here I make it as 1 the same I make it as 1 over here P105 configure timer 0 the counter operation TL not equal to 0 TH not equal to 0 once you can load it's enough. Why? Because once you get war flow, the TL0 and TH0 is going to be automatically to 0, 0, 1. So you no need to keep on load the uh, values into this TL0 and TH0. Why? Because we are using the counter operation. That's why initially you can make this two register is equal to 0. Do. If it is condition is true or false, it is not going to check any condition. Why? Because in the do, we are not write, written any condition over here. Okay. Uh, do is this statement is true or false that is secondary first it will execute these statements 
after that check the condition check the condition if it is true again come back here it will execute again check the condition if it is false comes out of the loop now i am going for the compile it is zero error zero warnings and build and rebuild so now i am going for the demonstrate so here i am using what are the register i am going to be use p1 and p2 this is p1 this is p2 p1 is going for tl0 so i keep over here this is a lower a bit uh, value this is upper byte of timer 0 register lower byte upper byte so totally this is a 16 bit timer 0 so p43 why have to take an so here i have not connected any a clock source uh, in this uh, case but uh, usually i used to be this is p3.4 you just look at over here 3.4 or 3.4 yeah, it is time of zero so this pin only we are going to be what is that give the inputs with the help of the k i am going to be just on off on off once i will get give the one zero one zero it is going to be count the counter operation so here i am using the timer zero timer one is not required for this case so now i am taking timer zero so i am going for first initial so it is you will see it is a 16 bit timer and counter so it is a counter operation because it is zero five and again loaded with the tl not equal to zero tl not is equal to zero so after that tr not equal to one because we are going to run the timer zero after that whatever the value available in the tl not and tl not it is moving to here so now i am going to be run the entire operation so initially it is tl not equal to zero tl not equal to zero so zero zero displayed over here why because i have not given any inputs on the pin p not that is p 3.4 so this is 3.0 3.1 3.2 3.3 3.4 so i am going to be high sorry low high what will happen it is going to be count so count value tl not equal to 0 1 so next count next count the third count 0 1 0 1 again 0 1 so it is going to be count it is 9 after that it is going to be a so on it is going to be increment until 255 it gets over again come back to here you are going to be at uh, the maximum count it is 65535 once it will get overflow the tf1 is going to be 0 again it will start from start the count from 0 0 so that's all about the counter programming with the help of timer 0 register that is tl0 and th0 the counter is nothing but it is going to be count the external information in kl i just don't want to say you assume that the externally in the t0 pin i connected 1 kilohertz external clock clock is nothing but high low high low that same high low high low i am giving it is going to be count over here thank you for watching